Hello! Happy 2GI Friday! It is the AP stream again and uh, Brick, Aussie Brick Chick in the house with uh, some of my lovely friends. And tonight, Lego is for kids. <laughs> we were having some very interesting conversations before we started. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure we'll rehash those conversations. Well, well obviously, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to talk a bit about that in a little while. But first, we might just do a quick whip around and see what everyone's been doing this week with Lego. Uh, anyone want to put their hand up to be first? <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, don't get me talking. Um, hello, everyone. <laughs> RRB, long time no see. Hello, Moby One. <laughs> nah, be beardy One. It's Beardy One. <laughs> He's been given a new nickname. It's Beardy One. Um, <laughs> uh, my week in Lego. Well, I've pulled my finger out of my ass and uh, I, I stepped up my Lego game and uh, started uh, building. So you can probably see I've yeah, uh, been see. parcel. Castle building like crazy and uh, finally getting I somewhere. saw it on Instagram. Yeah, Good can stuff. you guys see it in the view? Yes, we yes. can see the top of it. Uh, it looks it's very start, nice. It's starting to get somewhere. Um, I heard there was good stuff at the Lego shop, so I went to the Lego store and actually bought some stuff at Dreamworld. I haven't bought anything there for a while, so what did I buy? Two pick a brick cups. I got some. More sand green tiles. Everyone knows that's there. But I also got, uh, which I didn't know it was there, which is a castle builder's dream, is the, uh, where's my camera on this bloody iPad? These little babies. Oh, one by one with the, with the snot. Snot bricks. Light bluish grey. Nice. Some of those little babies. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to... Uh, Castle on. Castle on. How long? How long have I got, Aussie Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Your time is up. <laughs> how long? Oh man, how long have I got to build this mock? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, um, the show is September sixteenth, seventeenth. But you want it finished before then, because you'll have to apply. Uh, but I'll put in a good word for you. I also got three months, pretty well. Yeah, don't yeah, leave but you'll spend last like month, mate. Two and a half months building it, and then you'll spend the next half month trying to figure out how to tear it down to transport it. Yeah, <laughs> that time will disappear real quick. Lucky I live around the corner. Hopefully, I can just slide it straight into the back of the car and just slide it straight out. Of the thing. <laughs> and hopefully, it won't slide out as you go around the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's my week. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> oh, Ralph Debril got my um, reference there. Party on, party on. <laughs> Was it Ca Castle on Garth, Castle on Wayne? <laughs> I don't have the chats. So I'll have to get them on my phone. Man, I'm showing my age now. All right. Uh, Philip, what you been up to, mate? Um, just doing a lot of Lego show prep for, I've got a show in two weeks locally in, in the middle of nowhere, also known as Mount Riser. Um, you, you laugh, it's literally in the middle of nowhere, I, I'm telling you. Yeah, I laugh because it's true. Yeah, if you've ever been here, you can't get any further away from the centre of hell. It's hot. Oh, no. But it's home. So um, this week I um, haven't really been had time to do much with Lego. I have other commitments that I'm trying to get on with as well. Um, our local toy store here um, just today received the um, the new uh, brickheads. So they're in town, which is pretty cool. So I'll uh, probably pay a visit to them tomorrow. Um, Ooh, I went to where where uh, my local toy store, Wisdom Kids. In Mount Isa, there's a, there's a little local toy store that does... Um, like, what the hell is a local toy store getting at Big W, hasn't it? Damn it. Um, yeah, oh, the independents got them yeah, first. We got, I, want, I want the Pirates of the Caribbean ones. Yeah, no, we got them. Oh, no, got um, Bricks and Fun has them. Yeah, Bricks and Fun's got them. Um, 
Um, Rick James Brooks has also got a huge stack of them too. So they're yeah. out. Now you just got to find them. Um, you just got to hit up the independents. Yeah, the independents. I don't have any in pretty, pretty quick. Zero. Um, I ended up There's going to independents. I went to my local uh, EB Games immunizer and I found the uh, 50% off Master Lane figure. So that was my win for this, this week. Um, so I was pretty stoked to find her. Um, and she was hidden behind out of the way. I'm assuming that somebody had scrolled her away maybe to uh, buy when they found their mum. Maybe. So I ended up picking her up. So that was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, no, it's been a pretty boring week for me, actually, um, as far as Lego goes. That's all right. We all have boring weeks. Um, so, I'm, patiently, I'm patiently waiting for my grand carousel to arrive. Oh, nice. And nice. I'm waiting for that. It hasn't moved, so I, I go and check every day. Bad to see if it's moved. All right. Well, uh, RRB. What's she been up to, much? Yes, Aussie Bridget. Um, <laughs> uh, I had this show last Saturday. Last week. I, talk, I, was talk, I spoke about it last Saturday. Um, What's this, it, uh, hey? You can talk this, about it here. I have different, different people. Oh, well, if you, if you just you know, saw it on my Instagram, that's the best way to describe it. The photos on my Instagram. Some cool mocks there. The Elvis mock was my favourite. It was huge. It was bloody impressive. Um, you probably know who it was. Um, was it Richie? You probably know her. She's very creative. Um, was that... I'm trying to remember her name, but yeah, we know who we mean. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it was badass. Um, yeah. And this week I got uh, the cards. I got some cards, three sets. Um, nice. I got me. I got... Well, I, I was disappointed in myself that I didn't get them when they were out in 2011. Mm. I used to, you know, they used to sit on shelves for ages. I don't, I don't know. They didn't move them, but these ones have moved fast. Like, wow. Um, and I just, you know, I didn't ask for them from, at that time. I, I had to ask my parents for, for Lego, but this time I was like, right, I want to get the ones I want. Um, I used to play, I got them because I used to play this game on PSP. I used oh, to yes. Game. Yes. I remember yeah. that game. I used to love that game. Um, so I got, I got me the Tomator. They're pretty cool, but they use, I've looked at the instructions, the old ones. They use the same, the big piece at the bottom is basically the whole build from the old ones, just compressed into one part. Um, the old Tomator is wheels though from the new ones, I've noticed. Oh, I got the Smokey's Garage. That's a cool set. That was cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and I got so me what, the what year did these ones come out? No, these, these are, new are the ones. new. Are these new ones? Yeah, Guido yeah. and Luigi. They're very cute. Look at them, tiny. Aww. Um, See, my son, my son was only into like uh, only old enough to G player when the well, like the first lot of cars sets came out. So we never had cars in this house in Lego. Are you gonna get some? I don't know. Depends. I recommend if you're getting. I got that Smokey's Garage because mm -hmm. I wanted three cars. That was a bargain. Twenty eight dollars for three cars. Oh but wow, get, that's pretty good. Well, you can get the fifteen dollar ones, but you can only get one in a few builds up there. They're all printed, yeah. which is awesome. That's why I like about the junior sets. Mm. Um. So if you're gonna get yeah. any, get the Mater and the Lightning McQueen for fifteen, or get that three pack, but you don't get Mater. Yes. So go or on. if you get all of them. <laughs> Uh, yes. RRB. Yes. I got this one for my boy. He doesn't know yet. Yeah, that's oh, the one I got. On, hang on, hang on. Say that again. I got this one for my boy. Um, it's, it's all about cars with him at the moment, but he doesn't know yet. So it's a little surprise for him. That's a really good. That's the one. Yeah, Smokey Scarred. That's a really yeah, good set. Yeah, uh, because it was it was fifteen bucks for Lightning McQueen, or fifteen bucks for Mater, or thirty bucks for. Both these guys and the, the copper and the little servo, so yeah, that one, that one. exactly. That's why oh, I got wow. that. Um, that one comes with Smokey, I believe it's Junior, Junior something, and then Lady McQueen. Oh man, now I've got to get this. <laughs> the, other, the other one with the copper, pressure. 
the seven, uh, the one hundred seven four two is really cool too. That's the one. Well, that one. Okay, so that one. I looked at it. I thought it would be cheaper than twenty eight, and they're both twenty eight. So I was like, I want the one with three cars. That one's pretty that cool one. too. Yeah, I, I'm done. I'm not going to get the others. And then the, the Luigi Garage Time. That's a cool set too, which is the one that you got. That's pretty awesome. I bought the for the blue guy. The blue guy is the bomb. Well, I would I would have got one with Sally in it, and one didn't. They didn't have Sally in this wave, which is disappointing. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't have Mac. Yeah, they had it in Duplo though, not not Junior. They did have it in Duplo, which I thought was a bit disappointing because Mac is a Mac's a big ticket item now. Like when you talk about Lego sets going up in value, it's like a two hundred dollars set almost now. I saw one on eBay the other day for eighty. It's still there. I'm thinking about getting it, but I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too keen on his build though. It looks cool. It looks cool. Hey, um, fans back. FM Productions has joined us. Are you there? Maybe not. All right. I'll right, so talk about Mike Week real quick then. I I finally caved, and I built Sydney. We can't see you. I don't, well, I can't. I put it on present. Can't even see your screen. I can't even see my screen. Maybe it's just Moya. Maybe it's, it is just you. Everyone else can see me. I can see me on, on YouTube. Hang on. I want to... <laughs> I'm clicking. Everyone, just hold on a minute for RRB. No, you go ahead. I'm going to jump back in. <laughs> uh, you, you're on the main screen on my phone, Aussie Brick Chief. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm there. Anyway, yeah, I finally <laughs> caved. I built Sydney after panning it mercilessly. I now take back everything that I said. It is pretty cool. So I'm going to go through and um, start actually building all the architecture sets, sets in my um, pile of chain. Oh. I don't know where I'm going to put them all. They're not that big. <laughs> no, they're not that big, but have you seen my house? There is not much space in this place. This is my lounge yeah. room. And and the winner yeah. is not Sydney. Not there is not much space. The lounge is not that big either, so it's just a general thing. Nothing's very big at your house. No, nothing's very big at my house. That's, that's why I collect the skylines, because they're a lot smaller than some of the others. Well, I do have Buckingham Palace. That's in my pile to build. And I have the Capitol building too. You'll have to get the uh, Lego house. Hey? You'll have to get Lego House. Lego House? Yeah, the architecture Lego House set and the Billund Airport. No, 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 no. I, I'm, not, I'm not falling down that rabbit hole of buy all the architecture sets. I'll go broke. <laughs> uh, the architecture, like if the Billund Airport's the expensive one, the house isn't too bad. I think it's like $40 Australian. <laughs> Yeah, if you can find find someone that'll get it for you. You you you're a lucky ambassador. I'm sure you know somebody. You you be connected. Come on, you be connected. You have connections. I am not that connected. Goodness gracious, Queensland, we're like the butthole of the world. Nobody likes us. <laughs> <laughs> Except Lego like, uh, putting a store in the middle of paradise. Oh yeah, I know. It's like, um, yeah, Le Lego loves us, but not everyone else. Oh, okay. We're yeah. we're still we're still infants in the world of loves, even though we've been around for nearly five years. Yeah, I know because I joined like, I think it was two weeks after you. <laughs> really? I, I'm pretty sure I was the next one after you to join. Like, oh wow! You've been you've been with us since the beginning. Goodness, back in the day, yeah. Awesome. Last one. Are you there, FN Productions? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you fine. What have you been up to this week? Uh, um. Well, on oh, last Saturday, it was my birthday. Um, uh, I got the Ghostbusters HQ, which was uh, quite surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. Um, 
<laughs> and he then, got some good stuff. He got some good stuff. Then I had exams this week, so that wasn't very enjoyable, but anyhow. Um, Aussie Brickchick, did you see the um, new architecture set that was revealed today? Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, I was working today, so what have the I missed? Arc, the Arc de Triomphe. Oh, the Arc de Triomphe, yes. I think I might have seen some yeah. earlier. <laughs> so it was officially released today. Uh, yeah, the same image, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I would be tempted to buy that one. Definitely tempted. I'll probably run you a bit. So much for not trying to buy all the architecture sets. <laughs> well, I, I, okay, when I say I don't want to buy all the architecture, I mean that I'm not going backwards and buying the ones that have already been out unless I actually like them. I'm, I'm sticking to Skylines. Unless something well, takes my fancy, in which case all bets are off. I was going to say, in the case of current sets, you can still buy the Lego, Lego house and Bill and Airport. Well, he's showing... <laughs> FN is showing the um Oh so he is. hang on, hang on. Let me put you on present, mate. Hold that thought. So that's the after trail. That's really nice. Mm. Me like it. These are those inverted jumper tiles with the revised understud pattern for those grey concave sections. That's a nice touch. Mm. Uh, Chinese koala is saying that architecture is overpriced. Amen to that. <laughs> it's like, yes. But you're buying an experience, boys and girls. Have you seen the box? Have you seen I the instructions? Know. They're crazy detailed. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. gorgeous presentation. Mm, the thing yes. you pay for. You get what you pay the for. Thing is that tile. That's the only thing you pay for in an architecture set is that tile. And the box okay. and the instructions. They're very detailed. Yeah, because it's, um, what you call it? It's uh, unique to that set. Though I must admit, I got one set where the tile was misprinted. Oh, really? Mm hmm. That's Actually, not a bad thing. Um, where are we? Yeah, that's. It is when you're paying like, uh, like 80 or 90 bucks for a misprinted tile. That's not a bad thing at all. Uh, Venice misprint. Can you see it on the sea? That's not a bad thing. Oh. Misprint. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing. I would be. But um, that one came in like group support, so I don't feel right asking for a replacement if they would replace it. Yeah, but it's worth more if it's a misprint. <laughs> true. True. Have you um? I didn't realise, but my friend Mario Power um. He he bought the DeLorean. Mm. Um, he bought the DeLorean uh, last week, the Back to the Future idea set, and um, 60, 60 pounds. He's, he's in the UK on eBay, and he he got it, and it was brand new, and he was building it, and he came across the flux capacitor, which was misprinted with the word shield spelt without a H, Ooh. And that piece is worth ninety pounds, so he made a profit just on that one piece. But he hasn't sold his keeping, obviously. But yeah. Oh my goodness. But yeah. I don't. Apparently, I don't think of things like that. I mean, it's a very definite misprint. Apparently, it was in a few um a few sets across the world that that shield was misprinted with an H without a H. Yeah. But um, any of the other architecture sets are picked up through group support because nobody seems to like them. It. This is, this is how I got sucked into architecture. I was like, okay, nobody wants this set. I'll take it for the team. Oh, I'll build it. Perfect. And you were so devastated by the sounds of it. I was, I was so devastated. Wait, <laughs> wait. I, I, I wasn't you have, interested you have... in them at all, but I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a go. You know, this is what I, you know, what I get, what I get. So um, built it and kind of promptly got hooked. Ooh, yeah. good job. I'm going to head off, guys. <laughs> All right, You're dude. away so quick. Thanks for coming, though. You'll have, to, you'll have to show off some uh, more progress. Well, that was quick. I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry.
he's still there, but it's not. <laughs> You're just an icon. <laughs> well, I suppose we should um, move on to. Uh... Oh, sorry, iPad. Oh, okay. I suppose we should move on to the subject matter at hand. Lego is for kids. Is question marks. Yes, it is. So, so what, what is your opinion? Well, shall, shall I have my opinion first? Go for, Go for it. it. Okay. My stream. Um, my opinion, Lego is made for kids. It is a child's toy, but big buts. But they do cater for adults as well because they've got, you know, older, more complicated sets. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave it at that because you guys have far more interesting things to talk about. Ben Benzie48 said define kids. <laughs> kids. <laughs> oh, so, so we're working on the premise of uh, nobody ever grows up, truly? Um, the ages of 6 to 12 is a kid in the Lego terms of normal mm. system Lego. <sighs> 6 to 12, maybe 6 to 15, I don't know. But you get yeah, ages six to, like 16 and 6 up. to 16, yeah. Well, I mean, the majority says it's up to 16, up to 14, up to 12. Mm -hmm. But mm. there are sets that are very obviously aimed at older. Oh. Not obviously, it's 16 plus. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... Like in, in my household, Lego is a toy first, mm. um, and uh, an art medium second. So, in my Lego space, um, child's toy, and if my daughter or uh, cousins or nieces or nephews come around and they want to go into uncle's cool toy room, then by all means, they're allowed in. There are limits, um, around like trains and stuff, only because. They're very expensive and there's a lot of things that have to go into them. But other than that, it's a toy first so kids can come in and play with as they see fit. I think it's more the parents, though, that freak out when they come in than the kids. The kids think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And the parents are like, oh, don't touch that. And don't touch that. And I'm like, ah, oh, what's the worst they can do? They, they drop it and it smashes and I rebuild it as a toy. Yeah. That's what it was designed to be done for. Otherwise, you've just got a pretty expensive box collection. I suppose that's fair if it's a set, but if it was a complex mock and a kid threw it on the floor, you cry a little bit on the inside. That's why I make the statement about trains because I don't think I don't own a train that's not a mock. Mm. So, but I mean, on the weekends and on the school holidays, you pull out my trains, and trains are fair game. My daughter will sit there and play with trains, and that's cool. But there are rules around that. But, um. There's adults who go in there, and we were talking about this is part of the conversation we're having before um, the stream started around adults going in and buying all of the sets on sale whilst kids are there looking and talking with their mum and dad and negotiating. Hey, mum, can I buy this set? Oh, have you done your chores? Oh, I've done this and this, and they're sitting there discussing, and an adult walks basically in with his trolley, grabs his hand, walks from one end of the aisle to the other, and just piles everything in his trolley and then walks off. And they're going, oh, I wanted to buy Lego. Mm, that's sad. And, I mean, that's that's sort of where Lego is going because of that adult. That's what comes in there and the joys of the World Wide Web and Lego is worth more than gold. And I have the joys of that statement. And, and it Do you is think that maybe the popularity is, has hurt it in that respect? Oh. Indeed, it has, definitely. In, I think to a point, yeah, I, I think it's more society, the way that society is these days too. Um, and now I'm getting old and I'm, I'm trying my age a bit. But, I mean, like, adults weren't like that with toys. Mm. Like, you'd see, the, you'd see the odd adult sort of go in there and collect his action figure, like his G.I. Joe figure, and he'd take one off there and he'd go and grab it. But you wouldn't see him clean out the whole rack of toys. No. I don't know. That, that, that's my philosophy. It's a toy first. And I think that adults, I suppose, ruin it for the hobby, I suppose. And I, I see that like... Well, maybe not necessarily ruin it because not all adults are like that. 
But no. um, maybe, maybe they, you know, maybe more along the lines of they get carried away or they're too self-absorbed in what I mean, they want. Ruin, it's probably a strong statement, but, I mean, they, they detract and they give sort of adult fans who, who collect Lego for the sake of building Lego like, I suppose. Oh, I yes. Hmm for what it is and collect it for what it's designed to be like a files and then you have like the adults that come in and see it as a as a cash or a cash or a way of making yeah. money and that's their only yeah. primary, primary source of collection I, uh fn have you got any um thoughts on this um i agree perspective? with you i think you know it's a kid's toy first but i don't see why adults can't enjoy it too Mm. Yes, Mr. Philip, you have got, you're very mature for an adult Lego fan. Usually I see, you know, oh, it's, oh, you know, I bought this set today. I'm going to, I'm going to flip it for 20 grand, you know, or I just bought it on eBay and then I'm going to flip it on Bricklink or whatever it is. But it's a very controversial view on YouTube because trust me, there's a lot of Bricklink YouTubers on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, there's there's nothing wrong with being a bricklink, you, you know, bricklink. Mm, person. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like some of the halls where they hold like five hundred of the same set because it's on clearance at Walmart. I don't like that. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I the think same by the time it gets to a clearance that good, you know, most mums and dads have bought them or not. I'm never going to buy them for their kids. But I, 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 I know what you're saying. Like, I, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. it seems I like mean, it's it's rubbing it in your face. Oh, look at, you know, look at look at all these, you know, sets that I got so cheap. But on the flip side of that, if we didn't have people that did that sort of thing, that took the time to park them yeah, out, the how them. would we be yeah. able to buy things to make mocks? Because otherwise you'd be dropping thousands yeah. and thousands of dollars on pieces that you're never going to use. Yeah, I just, I just, it's not a problem that, that they're helping the community in that way, but it's yeah. not, it's, it's when it's a it's bragging thing. Which comes YouTube. first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah, it's a yeah, exactly. It's it like, oh, fun. look how much other thing I bought today. Yeah, I like, bought six hundred yeah. Death Stars today. Okay, yeah. cool. You but have no money. Slight now. segue here. <laughs> Speaking of children, I can actually hear my son upstairs crawling through his Lego box. <laughs> 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 which is which is cool. I, like my my partner or my wife absolutely detests that sound and she hates that sound and she comes in and every time she hears that sound, she'll come in and slam my leg over and go and be like Shh, I'm trying to watch TV. Because like, she just hates that noise. That's the sound of I do being it creative. And I, I, I don't mind that sound and I quite I quite like that sound and I'll hear somebody in their like when I go to somebody's like house and their child will be in their Lego room or they'll be in a Lego tub crawling and I'm like, Oh, that's the sound of Lego and they'll be like and it's like, Oh, obviously you don't know who I am. I I quite like Lego and I'll sit down there and I'm quite content to play with kids with Lego. Yeah. Or, hey Mr. Mr. Can you come and help me build this set or, or I need I need to make this, can you help me make that or and I mean that that's mm -hmm. what my childhood was built on, me bugging the crap out of my brothers to build me spaceships. Yeah. Well, Ozzy Richard, you've got a few different questions I saw in the comments. Well, yeah. not in the comments, the description. Um, did you get teased for being a Lego fan? Do you have mates that say you play with Lego and that as a kid thing? Um I have uh, I think I have one that's a closet Lego fan, like you were talking about last week, or oh, the what was the week before, maybe I don't know. Um, I and mean, then I have one that hates, you know, when I was in year seven, he's one of my best mates, but you know, it doesn't distract from me or me. It's just that when I was in year seven, I, I brought up Lego stupidly, as people do, and he goes, Oh, you still play with Lego? I said, Nah, and then I left. I never, I never spoke about Lego again in high school, and I was fine. Um, until people found out about my YouTube channel, but then it was all good. They didn't really give a crap because it's my life, not theirs. Um, and that same dude sees me comments, comment on post on Facebook now, and he says, so you're an expert in Lego now? I said, yeah. <laughs> I don't care now. I'm just like, yeah, sure, okay. Own it. Yes. Um, but, yeah, when you – I mean, I didn't – 
from that point, you said, well, I never had an issue with Lego. My friends didn't even give a crap when they found about YouTube, my YouTube channel. They were, they were more impressed that I had over a thousand subs at that time. So, mm. so how you know, long ago was that, that you sort of, you know, people hmm? knew outwardly that you were really oh, into Lego? Probably by year 10, everyone knew. Well, every one of my friends did, yeah. But mm. my, my friends would find things in my videos that I do wrong and they'd use it against me at school. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh, no. And they, they found one when I, when I had a testy pop in a video. <laughs> never, they never let it go for like a month. Oh, oh my, my voice like cracked and they never let it go for a month. That was funny. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Immortalized for everyone on YouTube. Yes, that was funny. Uh, but what about what about you, FN Productions? Uh, no, I haven't really told any of my friends about my Lego. Oh, so you're in the closet? Yeah, um, I haven't told any of my friends about my uh, Lego addiction or my YouTube channel or anything like that. So, yeah. uh, um, is, that, well, is that because you, you're you know, afraid of what they will say? Yeah, it's a query. Is it because mm. you, you're scared of the outcome, or you just what, what's what's the? Is there a reason why? Uh, no, no one's really asked. So, um, well, I think I think it is a common thing for kids to, especially with someone like me and and FN, as we grew up in our you know through our teens, we still like Lego. Um, and it's a common thing that you hear about kids getting bullied, especially in the US. I hear that all the time. People get all bullied because they're like Lego or they, you know, collect something else that's not for their age group in quotations. Mm. When, when, kid when shot in the US. Well, when clearly, when clearly on the box, it says 216 on most boxes. So you're still in the age group by that point. Um, so it's a common thing for kids to think, oh, I can't go into high school like him this, but I didn't give a shit after the, after the time in year seven. I was like, ah, it's all good. Just keep, I'm not going to stop being interested in it just because one kid said something like that. So, yeah, kids know. can be pretty cruel, though. Mm. Yeah, kids. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a thing. I think they get worse. Just as an outward statement. I agree with that. I, I mm. think the old, like the older people, like myself and Sherry, when we were kids, it mightn't have been as bad, but. Like, I see young kids now in school, and they're just horrible. Like, they're horrible to each other. Yeah, up. the bullying is brutal. Just I, don't, I don't know if it's, like, the advent of social media or anything like that with it being, like, mainstream. Um, I have to video making it so much fun. easier. And nothing's done about it in most schools. I, nothing's I done about it. Yeah. Half the kids are just... And like stealing people's hats and scribbling names out because you don't want to. Like there was an instance in a place where I live where one child had his hat. They pulled out a razor blade and just cut his hat for no reason so he couldn't wear it. Oh, that's messed up. Like just because they didn't like him. Like, and it's just like, okay. why? Like, what, what does it uh... achieve? There's no need for it. Like, yeah, have a have a have a tiff in the in the school, have a punch on, and and get over it, and and yeah. yeah it hurts. No one, you have an argument, you punch on and you, you move on. But damaging somebody's property, it's a bit extreme. Like, I mean, punching on in the playground is a bit extreme in saying that, but I think kids are more outwardly brutal and it's more socially accepted these days than it was when, like, I, yeah, it, sure, uh, it, I have brick chicks as a kid. Oh, I experienced, <laughs> I experienced a few. Oh, well, I was lucky, as I say, I went to a Christian school, lucky. And um, I didn't have, you know, we didn't have those kind of issues. We did have a kid punch a, punch a teacher. <laughs> oh, so what, they were pretty strict at your school? Of course, from a Christian school, but the kid that punched the teacher got expelled straight away. Yeah. So, um, yeah. The school I went to, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, my, my school is pretty strict. Like, if you did something, you know, seriously wrong, you were, like, suspended then expelled. Like, they just well, pussy-put around too much. With, with our school, it was, it was crap because when, once I got to that, you know, year 10, year 11, they got a lot of the public school rejects who got kicked, or who got um, expelled. Yeah. And, and they'd come to our school, they do drugs, and then they, they get expelled from our school. 
It's mm-hmm. like far out. That's that's a good thing to have on your resume that you got expelled from two schools. Good stuff. Yeah. Congratulations, come on. Down. Some yeah, kids obviously stuff. just need to get into Lego. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Because Lego is just calming. Like I don't know what it is, but just just building Lego can be very calming. Yeah, I, I think they just need to put Lego programs in into all high schools and make them do like robotics or something. Well, actually, my son's school does robotics with like yeah, um, we we did we did my stuff. stuff. We did my storm in year seven but and year eleven. They should just have it in like regular classes too. Like here, here's a bunch of bricks. Tell a story. Oh, we had we actually had a Lego class in year eight. It was for like a, it was like for um, I don't know what was it called. It was called. Yeah. Um, no, it was it was a Christian school thing. I can't. Remember. It was like a class where you chose. They gave you a whole variety of choices in year seven and eight about what you wanted to do, and they had a Lego class. I was like, hell yeah! I mean, and it actually was packed. The class was full. <laughs> It was a full class. Like, it was the most... Was it, like, like, it's where we play with toys and bludge. Yes. <laughs> we had fun. What everyone was doing, it wasn't, like, talking. Who would say no to Lego as a class? I wouldn't. Yeah, it was um, fun. Sweet. I'm, now, I'm, never, I'm never graduating that year level if that means that class. So I've got to be for, like, life. Oh. Oh, I, personally, I know a lot of people did. I loved high school. I enjoyed every second of it, except for... Oh, you're lucky. Except for studying. Except for studying. Uh, it's funny because, yeah, it, when you look back, you're like, oh, man, I can't wait till I get out of high school and live my, my own life. And then you start adulting. And then I, I, I never go back my, to school. My girlfriend, my girlfriend said that to me all through. I can't wait till I finish. I said, no, you can't. The real world's way worse than this. Oh, I can't wait. And now she's saying, oh, I miss high school. Yeah, I told mm. you that all through it. And you can't be told at that age. Mm. I, I always I always knew that. I went to finish high school. That was it. I mean, buddy. Bored of my life after that, but yeah. See, I was never yeah. into I was never into Lego in high school. I I, I give it away. No, so me neither. I wasn't really into Lego at all. Yeah, you weren't into it as a child either, Miss Aussie Boo Chick. Hey, <laughs> you weren't into it as a child either. <laughs> no, I wasn't into it as a child. I wasn't into it as a teenager. I wasn't into it in my thirties. <laughs> it's about well, most of my thirties. <laughs> You came out of your non-existent dark ages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, technically I don't know how the dark age because I never had it as a child. So. It, didn't it didn't exist. I'm pretty sure I'm not a unique, um, you know, exception or anything like that. I'm sure there are other people like me out um, there. Port, Port City Bricks was like you, both of them. Mm-hmm. Port City Bricks, both, uh, yeah, both were like that. Yeah. Uh, um, as to the topic, I have the unique perspective of so many of my family members and all of my friends are Lego friends these days. Everyone else just sort of falls off the the side, <laughs> off the edge. If you're not into Lego, you just sort of get forgotten a little bit. I'm sorry, friends, that were good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lego just consumed everything, <laughs> including my friendships. Uh, uh, I'm in the same. That's a that's a pretty interesting statement you make there, though, because I'm sort of in the same boat as you, really. <laughs> um, well, like Lego seems to consume everything. Yeah, well, you know, uh, especially when you know you, you 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 go to shows with your Lego friends and you hang out with your Lego friends at shows, and then they're the people that are on your Facebook that you talk to about Lego and. Yeah, it's kind of like a cult, really. I, I'm sure I've fallen into a cult and I just don't know it yet. Mm. Silence. It's like, <laughs> even even kids that you talk to, like, a lot of the people that I know that are, like, younger and, like, in teenagers and going to uni or leaving school, a lot of those people that I know are through Lego only. Mm. Not All right, well, we've, we've got an awful lot of people in the chat, so we should probably run through and say hi to everyone. Do you want to do it, RRB? Sure. All right, we'll go from the beginning. Start the top and move your way down the bottom. That's what she said. Benzi48 has been here <laughs> since the beginning. Probably he was here like 20 minutes before we started. And um, it was here before I got there. Yeah. Um, and then we got, I don't, know, I don't know who FM Productions is. Um, Never heard of him. No. Nah. Um, and then Aussie Richie with the crown. And 
is she some kind of king or queen? Um, <laughs> uh, big, is it big, is it big Suix or Suix or Big Sue? Big Sue, big, 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 big Sue, Sue. Okay, big Sue. Um, Miss Amby, um, Chinese Koala, Koala PTY Limited, um, Ralph Debril, Iceberg Bricks with the classic Mr. Freeze as his logo. Zero eight I W N. Who's zero eight I W N? That's the weirdest name um, I've ever heard. Who names this self that? Um, <laughs> um, I can't see anything. Uh, oh just ten like cents O two. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't didn't see him. Ten cents O two. Just like one hundred and one. That that would be Mayo, wouldn't it? Ten cents O two. Yeah. Um. Aussie Rick Blow again. Don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> um, but for those who follow my Instagram, you know who that is. Yes, uh, Derpy Dragon. That is Miss Saucy Rick Cheeks' husband. Um, Derpy Dragon. <laughs> Derpy Dragon isn't though. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Aussie Rick Blow. Um, okay, so Derpy Dragon is Bailey. Yes. Okay, that's the chat. The. That's yeah. it. On the chat. No brick shitter again. Yeah, I know. What's going on? Bloody hell. Um, yeah. I was a bit devoured by that. Yeah, brick shitter. What's going on? Why aren't you here? And where's no, Timmy? Prob- he probably Timmy? didn't get the. He probably didn't get the memo. Where's Timmy? Timmy Thurston. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be around yet. Hmm. I don't think I saw him last Friday. I saw I him on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Timmy Thurston. Some people don't come and see me. That's okay. I don't hold it against them. <laughs> I don't take um, it personal. Yeah, um, just like I wanted one uh, brought up what happened in Port City Bricks. I was... um. Disappointed to see they left because I was I was really enjoying their trivia showdown series that was awesome, oh. um, but I think they they said they left because they wanted to have a life and not have to worry about YouTube and Instagram and social media. Yeah, I suppose fair that's enough. fair enough. I mean, it yeah. is very time consuming, and it well, is hard to just doing. switch. It's hard to switch off. Mm. Mm. Like when you're doing so much, it's really hard to change gears and say, no, I'm not doing it this week. Um, yeah. Because you, I, that, um, age, you lose, you lose that, that volume, I think, of, of like consistent viewers and it's hard to sort of pick that up when you were cha- when you obtain a level, I think, um, you know, I think being a bit more deeper, it's a tightly to do with society. Mm. And well, they, had, fee. they own a Lego shop, don't they? Aussie Richie. They own a Lego shop, Lego store. I'm not sure. I I don't I know them did. personally. I think they did because they were in heaps of streams and they show their store and um, but they yeah they were they were growing because of that stream they were that, that series they were doing. The channel was getting big and big and then they yeah. disappointing. Yeah, and I mean, but that's just it. The moment you the moment you turn off, people just sort of it's very commercialized. Like it's very yeah. here and now. Then they just move on to the next thing and you're soon forgotten. Yeah. And the thing is, is that people are, are person loyal, not channel loyal. So it's not no, like you it. can pop- shove somebody else in there and say, look, you know, <laughs> make content for me. No, it's just like the brick show. I, 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 I was person loyal. I don't like, I don't like these new people they've got. Mm. Yeah. It's I like Jason. That does their countdowns? Nope. Oh, the new guy, yeah. Yeah, no, um, yeah. His voice and always it irritates the crap out of me. I'll just, just put it out there. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> it just irritates the crap out of me. Um, Big Sue's Bricks said, um, post- <laughs> I think that part of the deal with the generalisation of Lego is just for kids is that teens aren't aware of some of the more serious sets for grown-ups like the modulars. Oh, no, 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 they're aware. They just think it's stupid that Lego should even make them. I've heard oh, that. I before. think it's it's overpriced, like it's expensive. Like generally 
more no, adults than it's mean. Why, Higher why would, counts why would mean they make more expensive. Sixteen plus. Why would they do that? Why would who? Why, what kind of adult want Lego? Okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Well, they sell. They sell better than any other set, especially the modulars. <laughs> I think part of the problem might be the price for those sets are appealing to teens. Yeah. Because in between the that, I have to disposable my income. The NASA, the NASA on board. That's in five is already on back order and Lego shop at home. Jeez. Yeah, that one. That set got thumped everywhere. That is a very popular set. That's going to be one of the. I reckon it's going to be their best seller for the year. Mm. I wonder whether it will outsell the DeLorean. Well, imagine the royalties that 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 creator is going to make. Because they don't they make like one or two percent of every sale. Something but, like that. But imagine like the sales that they've already made. He'd be like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm. Yeah. That's about right. So, do you think you'd ever make an idea set, or like? Oh yeah, something? I would love. I would love to. You'd, I think it's good that they've made it more creative, where they've taken away themes that already exist, and you have to be creative with what you're making. Because I think it's a good thing to expand and get other other themes um, involved in Lego, like Back to the Future or um, Ghostbusters or what else was there? Oh, NASA. Mm. Um, although they did have a NASA theme, Life on Mars, back in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Um, that, was, that was like forever ago. Yeah. Um, what else have they done? Back to the Future. Oh, Adventure Time. Mm. Um, or Crap Time, apparently. According to Mr. <laughs> TF Briggs. <laughs> or uh, otherwise known as... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, TF, bloody hell, that was funny last Saturday. God damn it. Yeah, you, you know that some of the Americans have screenshots of that? <laughs> it's it's permanently, on Saturdays. permanently <laughs> saved on Saturday, YouTube. Was, was that you searching through videos? Was it that part? It's permanently but, saved on YouTube now. Because I was, I was listening to it, I wasn't watching it. And then you're oh, like, so you missed like TF a, going around um, Walmart. <laughs> Lego AP stream to going, oh, what movie is this? And then somebody would say something, he's like, oh, you gave it away. He was supposed to guess. And I'm like, what? What's going on? And I'm like, no. oh, yeah, we were playing that off. game. Yeah, that was that funny. Was fun. That, was, that fun. was funny. I and then, then after we finished that game of, of guess guess what the DVD is, um, <laughs> he should do it again. I RRB guessing what the DVD is. Yes, it was me. <laughs> Yeah, he walked around the store grabbing a few <laughs> random things and then he sat on this pink little um, potty and had this big girly hat on and a book. With a, and reading a what, what, book of some description. I can't remember. Lego, Lego Star Wars book. Oh, that's right. Lego Star Wars reading material while he went potty. My, my favourite was when he was doing the hula hoop on the bike. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like hula hoops. I see hula hoops. Like, and the, hula hoop. and he's the, like, awkward, the awkward ass angle of when he bounced the ball. Oh my god! <laughs> so oh, does fun. does anyone know where Big Sue's bricks is from? The who? What? What? Big Sue's bricks Sue. is from Big Sue. He's from Big yeah. Sue. <laughs> so where where are you from, Big Sue? Is it, how, do you, how, how do you even uh, say? Yeah, but, Ben's is saying that uh, TF was a humans of Walmart. He, he was the YouTuber of Walmart. Oh, my God. TF is, <laughs> TF is a... It, yeah, what was it? Yeah, people of Walmart, that Facebook group. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm like, Joe, why is nobody Joe taking Sanicano photos does. of this crazy man? <laughs> Joe Sadegato does a pretty funny people of Walmart or... But, what does he call it? Um, customers of Walmart, and he just he's just pretty brutal, and he's funny as. But mm. my favorite, my favorite, was when um, when he's walking and doing all this crazy stuff, and no one's looking at him. Yeah, <laughs> nobody. Okay, I saw one lady looked over in his general direction a couple of times, like a glance, and then looked away, but, and like, but, oh, she's so but, totally looking. But he didn't have headphones in. No. And they can hear everything we would say. I mean, all these disembodied voices coming from his bone. And then do this, do this. And they must get all. They all. 
I can't use the word where they almost get her in like D heads in Walmart. Jeez. <laughs> It must be oh, normal. Um, Big, Big Sue Bricks has answered. He said, uh, yep. uh, is it a he or a she? He? He, he. Um, I'm from South Eastern, Eastern South Dakota. That's very specific. Dakota. Which is fine. So that's US. So just I'm sort of trying to follow the comment that he's making, trying to keep with the stream and about T-Foles and branding of Lego and why, why people leave Lego and why they choose not to say that they're in Lego. Um, so... Would just why would why would there not be any knowledge of people? Because he said that um, I know in my area teens aren't aware because they don't because they're not even sold in any stores around town. Well, that that's one statement to make. But is that is there is there no sort of advocate advocation I suppose from an adult community saying there are these really cool sets and you can buy these sets at your local local Lego store online? Like, is is there no like advocacy? around people grabbing these individuals that may or may not be interested in saying, hey, you're a teenager, come around mm. once a month to a convention centre and we'll just we'll just get together and build Lego and, and just hang out and talk Lego. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep like it. just okay. I think the biggest um the biggest uh, example I can use of kids falling out of the interest in Lego at the same time was what happened to the Brick Show and Brick Queen. So, you know, they're flying along. Obviously, it was a whole generation of kids following them. And then I'm guessing what happened was in late 2015, early 2016, those kids grew up, went to high school all at the same time and decided, hey, let's just, you know, they did ditch their channels and they stayed subscribed. But Brick Show's views dropped in a week, just significantly. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that a whole generation of kids grew up and went to high school yeah. And that was the end of Lego for them. And they just left their channels to where they were and moved on. And the same thing happened to Brick Queen, but her channel hasn't picked up. The Brick Shows has because of these new people. But yeah. If, if you can appeal to the new generation, that's fine. I, I must admit, I totally stole the whole idea for our topic tonight from a bunch of teenagers. <laughs> no shit. Name no shit. Son. I honestly didn't. I, I, I looked up because I was trying to think what, what topic, what topic. I had no ideas. I'm like, start typing things into YouTube and this thing pops up. And there's this, um, this, I can't remember the name of the channel. I'm sorry if you ever find this video. But, um, uh, they were talking about, um, you know, adults and Lego and, you know, is Lego just for kids? And I was like listening to them having their little conversations because, you know, obviously they for whatever reason they, they didn't live stream it, they re pre-recorded, um, you know, um, voiceovers to the uh, minifig on the screen and they're all having their little says and I was like, was it a Lego channel? Good points. Hmm? Was it a Lego channel? Yeah, it was a Lego channel. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can't watch channels that... Talk about Lego and adults because I know in the comments you're gonna have heaps of people saying, "Oh, they need a fucking, they need it." And sorry, yeah. they grow up and you know, and mm. move on. Yeah, but no, it. actually, it was it was quite a civil conversation, and they were quite positive about it, and and quite positive about how um you know you need to have a supportive community, and you know um if you're in the Lego community, you need to be supportive of each other, and that they said generally speaking most people are supportive of each other um you know there's, there's a few here and there that are like you know not necessarily 100 percent. i really a really interesting stream would probably be um and i don't know whether you want to pose a question to your viewers to maybe brainstorm some ideas for ap streams that they'd like to see what topics would they like yeah, to see yeah true um, yeah, if, if yeah, anyone wants cool. to suggest a topic for future, feel free to um, hit me up on Instagram or, or send me a message through um, my Facebook page or here on YouTube. I'm most likely going to answer an Instagram, though, because I'm always on there. <laughs> for ideas, that might be a good way to, to drive drive good conversation around things that people yeah yeah sure i mean this is a community stream and and you guys are that are watching are a part of that community 
um, yeah, I'd really like some suggestions of, you know, um, for that sort of thing. And also, any of you who watch my tutorials, I'm starting to run dry on ideas. So if you have something that you would like to learn, um, I will do my best <laughs> to uh, <laughs> Bob, Bob, I I somebody who knows stuff. No, no or, Bob just uh, turned up saying, hey guys. Bob what was just that? turned up saying, hey guys. He said, Bob turned up saying, hey guys, with a question mark. What, didn't he get an invite? <laughs> I sent him an invite. On... <laughs> Which it's, it's, too, it's, it's in awesome. the Instagram chat, yeah. Bob, and, and I also sent you a message on Hangouts ages ago. Go check. Yeah, bloody, what are you doing, Bob? Keep up with the trends. Oh, he's, he's <laughs> half an hour behind the rest of us. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, that's all right. He's in a, in a totally different time zone. No, he doesn't start anyway till like 11, so we're not yeah, even well, he starts. Mm. Friday nights is always 10, and I said that. Yes. Now um, being different. Just back, on, <laughs> just back on the popularity of the Apollo Saturn V rocket, um, mm -hmm. do you think part of that is the price of it? Because when I looked on Shop at Home, um, the pricing of it is less than 10 cents per piece, even here in Australia. So yeah, That's a bargain. 1,969 pieces for 170. What a bargain. But no, nah, yeah. I think it's just to do with it's a huge set. It's a metre long. Yeah. People want that yeah, one. It's, it's epic in scale. It's a badass. I think that is, yeah, it's badass. It's astronauts and rockets and all that fun stuff. Plus it's historical. Plus it's cultural. Plus it's <laughs> pop culture. It's the extra the nerd coming out in all the Lego fans. The extra bit of nerd coming out in all the Lego. It's multi generational. Hey, hey, too. Hey, so. Check out the chat. Check out the chat. Look who's turned up. I know Brick Shitter. How cool is that? Yes, you got to say his name. Brick Shitter. What up, guys? What up, guys? NASA must have done the deal for free in the name of education like they do with the most stuff. Only way to get that price. Yeah, yeah true. True. And it's mm. and it's all around an excellent set too. I mean, I don't physically have it yet, and I'm not sure whether I'll actually buy it because it's so freaking tall. Um, I, I, I probably it. have I, to I would, leave it in box, which would be sad. I don't usually get idea sets, but I only got the DeLorean. Um, but... That is a set I'd very strongly look at buying. Somewhere mm. down the track. It's very cool. My, my mate that I do my Lego shows with, he's, he's a mad science nut. He's bought every single science set that Lego's ever bought out, and he's he's raving about this one. Yeah, why wouldn't you? It's, it's so detailed. It's so realistic. It's crazy. The fishing store is fairly similar in that regard. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the fishing store. That will be high priority for me. Although I, I saw somebody perpetuating some rumours that there are lots of stickers in that set. Like, in the fishing uh, I don't think so. It doesn't look somebody, like there's any. Maybe somebody had said the same thing around its release, um, and I made that statement last week, and we had a discussion, and we looked up, I think it was 7 or the 10002 or 3 or whatever it was. I've seen all of the idea sets except the first one they released in person. None of them had stickers except that one. So, but I mean, they've gone through and they've made some pretty impressive prints on some parts for the new Saturn because they're on curved. They're getting pretty, oh, pretty tricky one, with that Hayabusa. Yeah, that crazy wow. submarine-looking thing. Hmm, yeah, that was when they were Lego Kuso. That was up until Back to the Future, wasn't it? Lego Kuso. Yeah, but the next one yeah, that had all those um the uh, the Japanese um what was that? I don't think it was Japanese. It was the crazy. Face set satellite, yeah. That yeah. was a they had the Mars Curiosity rover, that was cool. Yeah, that yeah. was an awesome set. That, that was boost, probably the first one that, I ever saw. Well, that high booster came out at the wrong time because it, it was it, it came out at a time where Lego, you know, wasn't in its huge popularity stage as it is now. So do you, do you feel that it's a set that they should have, you know, re-released? Re I feel I feel that that was that was released at the wrong time. 
that first one. And it wasn't, it's nowhere near as detailed as the other ones. I don't know, but I mean, like, has 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 Lego really ever made like a huge cult following with their underwater gear? Like, I mean, they have a cult following for space. Mm. Oh, well, I, I love, I loved um this bad boy. This was my, my favorite set as a kid. I'm getting it down now. I loved Aqua Raiders. This was my favorite set as a kid. The Aqua Raiders. Um, yeah, but I mean that, yeah, that that's not that's sort of real. That's not realistic. Like that's a that's a Lego IP thing that they've sort of half built up. And I had some of that gear when I was a kid too, and it was pretty awesome. I used to love those sets. So I hear. What I, I quite liked the Atlantis sets. Yes, I have. But my been. son was too young when they came out. Like we only got like the last of. I had most, most of them except for the um the first the big red submarine. Yeah, I mean, again, that that's like a YP. The 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 Kuso set was based on a real submarine, and I mean, yeah, I know, but, oh, do you, do you mean underwater as in real, like like, like realistic submarines, like like city style sets, which were based off like real realistic submarine stuff? You know, did they ever really have a big huge following like they did with space? And like, have they, they even really done a realistic kind of that? Yes, yeah, hey, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Just wait on. The last underwater thing they did for City, which was I think a couple of years ago, that was that was the yellow subs. Mm. That was that was sort of somewhat realistic. Like fair enough, it wasn't one to one scale and proper proper. There was still an element of play to it, but it wasn't like upgraders where they had cool bad guys and these badass subs yeah. and they had yeah, so good this, this... and it wasn't Atlantis where they had like these crazy sea creatures that were trying to steal stuff. Hey, I'm a screen share. Okay, so this was this was my one of my favorite sets um, uh, growing up, and I wish I was able to get it. I never did, but this was um, a Lego designer set. I absolutely, still absolutely love that set. It doesn't go for much now. I, I would love to get it, but I haven't gotten around to it. But um, I would say it's one of the more realistic submarines I've ever done in terms of. What it is, no many things. It's like a scale set. That's pretty right. I've never actually seen that set. Yeah, I, I love this set. I used to stare at this in the catalog and wish, oh, I wish I had it because it looks so badass. Like, it's just a really cool looking submarine, which is why I was so happy to get the um, 2007 Aquaratus one when it came out. They seem to love doing things in yellow, don't they? Yeah, I think it's just What's a stereotype like, um... submarine. The uh, dinos- dinosaurs um, from 2012. Yeah, Dino Tracker stuff, yeah, that was in yellow. Yeah, it was like lots of yellow, like heaps of yellow. Like yellow was the main theme colour. I mean, mm-hmm. most of the city underwater stuff has been yellow. I think the 90s stuff that um, Chinese koala was, as it Chinese koala was talking about? Yeah. Um, I think that stuff was predominantly in white, though. From yeah, because they had a lot of like those those classic column pieces. Yeah, like, for like the underwater ruins. Yeah, Which ones? I mean, like, what are we talking about? Um, the not- Atlantis. Oh yeah, okay. The gold, no, yeah, the gold and white. Okay. No, they did they did a wave they did a wave in the nineties in cities to do sort of underwater stuff that was semi realistic. Like it was it was city. yeah they had the they had the um there was a few sets that there was one that came with like four boats and had, that was really cool. It was like little boats, but it was cool. I think I did like a shark diver set where you could yeah, dive, like and, like and um, ball and stuff, and you could go and put a, a figure in like this crazy ladder, like the the, the Lego mini. Those were cool. Those. those were the town, the town sets, the town. Um, yeah, I think yeah. that was the stuff that Chinese koala was talking about around those ninety stuff. So yeah, uh, Jeng's reviewed a few of those old ones too. Um, that was a nineties, but I I don't ever think they really had a massive like water following like an undersea water following they did with space or wild west or castle like that well atlantis atlantis didn't didn't perform as well as it they thought it would that's why it only lasted two years um so, aquaraters was when the aquaraters came out when they were doing one wave releases for themes like that so that was only one wave same with you know um they had a that few was that a weird series when they're doing those crazy time turners wasn't it Pardon? That was when they're doing those crazy time turners and they had Galador. And no, no, no. Aquarators is 2000. Aquarators is 2007. You're thinking of Aquazone. Yeah, 
Oh, Aqua's the only one I'm thinking of, yeah. Yeah, and they had Neptune's Discovery Lab. That was, for some reason, it's a very popular set, but it doesn't even really go for much. I don't, yeah. Um, um, but, I mean, back, that was this this whole conversation, getting back to the statement you've made about they should, it was released at the wrong time. I mean, would there ever be a good time to release it if it doesn't have a cult following? Now there's a good time. All the idea sets are popular. I, I can't think of one that recently, I'm talking recently, I'd Big Bang Theory is a couple of years ago, but in the last year, every set that's come out has been very popular, and they made good decisions with what they're putting out. I mean, yeah, now they have, but would you if if they bought like if they bought out that set and re-released it exactly the same in the same box and re-released it, would you go out and buy it? Well, I don't buy ideas, but if you're an ideas collector, you would. <laughs> Oh, it's what, like, what yeah, about... it's a cool set, but I don't buy ideas. I don't buy what ideas. What about QFN? If, if they Why? Because were... I, I that... don't have the kind of money to go and splurge on other themes except for New Jago and some of their sets that I'd like, like cars. Oh, there's this thing called Lay-By. Yeah, would, I've got all the next night sets and Lay-By as well now. <laughs> would you go and buy Why that set that really... But the, the point is... Um, that said, because it's like $250 on Brickling, people are going to buy it just because it has value now. But it's not to buy it to flip it, it's to buy it to say, oh, I own this classic, like, older set that's very expensive now. <laughs> that's why people <laughs> buy it again. Well, it's, it's if, just if like... they, well, we'll, we'll pose it this way. If they did another release and ideas of a realistic sub, like a submersible... How well do you think it would sell? As opposed to, for example, if they went and released a Western or a Castle mm. idea set. Wait, you mean, wait, realistic submarine or? So, so say they went and released a, a, a new updated submersible in the same sort of style as that with a little little diorama and the sub going down and picking up whatever it was out of the, out of the ocean bed. And then they, at the same time, went and released a castle or a western set with three figures and a horse drawn carriage and then there was like a little wall or whatever it was it's all better it's not a fair comparison how how is it not a fair comparison if they insane? wouldn't no but if it's ideas they're not going to release two sets at the same time anyway well even if they release one after the other well if it's released you know usually it's released about six months later um I reckon the submarine would sell well up until the time the castle comes out, which is probably what's going to happen with the NASA Apollo 5. When that fishing store comes out, because of all the sand green, that's going to sell and that Apollo is going to be forgotten about because everyone already has it. But look at look at the sales of, say, the NASA Apollo rocket versus, say, the yellow submarine for the Beatles. Why? Why is there such a difference in that? Like, I mean, well, uh, the, okay. No, no, the Beatles submarine. Oh, stop. The Beatles. The Beatles submarine was on back order when it came out too, but once mm. that once that hype dies down, that everyone already has it that wants it, it's going to stop selling as fast as it does, and it'll start to appear mm. on shelves more. But I haven't seen the Beatles submarine in stores for ages. It sold really well in my area, at least. Yeah. Twice. It had a very strong following a niche market, and that niche market bought real quick. Yes. Because if you like that sort of thing, you buy it as soon as you see it because you panic buy. You think exactly. It's gonna be gone. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it, 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 I know it's all Lego ideas, but it's not comparing like same same. Like they're totally different ideas sets from you know the perspective of the market. Yes. yes. I mean, they do that obviously on purpose. They have the release every six months, which mm. works well for them because now they're releasing sets that people want like badly. When they see pictures like that fishing yeah. store, people are going nuts over it. It's going to fly. Oh, yeah. And, it's and they're building up the suspense too because they announced it. It's like, oh, wow, how awesome, well, you know, this getting, is the winner. Getting, and then you've getting, got those months and months of development before it comes out. But they're getting more and more expensive as we go on. Like that fishing store, 
two hundred and fifty Australian. That is going to sell like yeah, hotcakes. So listening to what people are saying, they want you. You it's do know sell. they do surveys. No, I know every set they do. They test with kids. They test what kids mm -hmm. like in a play feature, or maybe a whole theme. But they're going to test what kids want in a play feature. But that's but set, I mean, they're going to keep raising the price as they keep selling. But could you say that Lego Ideas is really a, a, a kids aimed demographic? Well, not the Beatles. I well, no, I mean ideas in general, like the ideas set. Like, okay, have you? Can you name an idea set that you look at and go, "That's a kid set," and only Adventure kid Time set. is the only one I can think of. Adventure Time is the only one I can think of. Like, no, 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 that kids would want. <laughs> that kids would want. Oh, okay. The only set that kids would want. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you finished your sentence there because yeah. I was going to hit the disconnect button on you. No, no. That kids would want. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm not that yeah. mean. No, that, I mean that kids would want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and Adventure Time is very colourful and and brick yeah. built and yeah, it has that appeal. And you know the 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 main like viewership of that particular show is the target market. You know, it's huge. And then it's a, bit a huge more show. Like too. It's the tweens. It's a huge show too. Oh yeah, it's huge, 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 huge. Lots of lots of seasons. Oh yeah, okay. Benzie's made a good point. Minecraft. I mean, those little micro stuff though. Like that would. Oh they're yeah, not, but they're not ideas anymore. The the micro the micro one that the micro worlds that they did were no. nothing compared to the sets that they brought out now. They were a no. shockingly poor design. No. Yeah. <clears throat> not 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 the same caliber as the sets that they have out and. Okay, if you if you looked at one thing and you said, oh, you know, this is really just for kids, uh, I haven't met very many athletes that are really into Minecraft unless they actually play it themselves with their kids. No. Um, my husband's probably one of the few that I'm, I'm aware of. That I think I'm engineers game designed for engineers, if you're not. I'll tell you what, though. That game, if you don't have money to spend on Lego, you build anything for free in that. That's a fun game. I like that's it. A sandbox. That's what's called a sandbox game, my friend. I like it. I like that game. Because I haven't played it for a while, but I like it. The possibilities are limitless. Endless. Yes. I haven't played it for a while, though. Mm. Is, Bilzy, is Bilzy jumping on? Or... Has, he made, has he made it home? Yeah, he commented. Oh, you you got an invite, mate. You can yeah. hop in real quick before I decide it's time to go to bed. Okay, Big Sue Bricks says, so Lego has gone through Lego changes since they first started. Do you guys think they will update again? No, I don't think so. I think they're, they're, no, I think they'll stay with what they have at the moment. I think it depends yeah. on how much longer Lego is around. I mean, you know... Uh, Every every company innovates after a period of time. It's such a well known logo, I mean, though. I, I don't think Lego would update their logo so drastically. That you oh, I, I I foresee maybe like minor changes over a period of time, like little. Very much like, like they've like done originally. You've got iconic ones like say Coca Cola. They've had tiny little itty bitty, you know, things that you don't notice until one day you see side by side. Yeah, like Lego. I, I, I don't think the Lego group could change their logo because they would like that's that's their branding, like very much mm. like the same Coke. Like if they change their branding, I mean, and oh, they yeah. change it. Look, they they wouldn't change it dramatically. Look, I mean, um, have you seen some of their um, older logos? It's not well, that much different. Well, they haven't changed it dramatically since they had the logo that was a rectangle, and it just mm -hmm. you know yeah. it was like in classic fifties or anything. But um, no, I don't see them changing it personally. I I don't see them changing it either, unless they go bankrupt and have to come back, and then they may consider changing it. I don't think they can even go bankrupt at this point. They're so rich; like they must be absolutely just, you know, their toilets oh, must be made of money. Oh, you you would be surprised, my friend. You would be surprised. I know, I know, but the, the amount of money they're throwing around at the moment into other projects is pretty insane. 
Mm. I know, but they're making that, so that much money. One. Lego House is another. Games is another one. Dim- look at Dimensions, the amount of money they're playing into that, and it doesn't seem to be Yeah. Done. Dimensions seem to have flopped slightly, but I think just that, that particular video game market flopped when Disney pulled out. That's what she said. <laughs> That's right. I, that's just, I just have to lead you into these. That's what she said. That's because she said it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this statement, RRB, in relation to your statement. If you want to come back, my friend, go and masturbate into a fan. Wait, what? Wait, no, if you want. If you want, what was my statement? If you said that's what she said. That's okay. what she said. So, as far as a flop goes, yeah, this where they pulled out because it was a flop. Yeah, that's what she said. I'll leave you with this. If you want to come back, go and masturbate into a fan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> Not only did you tell that joke once, you had to explain the joke and then tell it again. I didn't hear it probably. Because um, some some particular A-files are a bit slow. (laughs) I'm not slow. Now, now, you're not supposed to make jokes like that until, like, the third hour, right? I'm not slow. Do you know what the sad thing is? Do you know what the saddest thing is? That he has headphones on and he still can't hear. You need a new pair of headphones, RRB. Should we start up a um a GoFundMe for you? No, no, I'll be all right. Uh, because he'd spend it all on Lego anyway. Okay, <laughs> like, <they> boys. <laughs> oh dear. Exactly. Oh, so uh, I can't read what. Okay, oh, he deleted his comment. Somebody, so, so you yeah, can't read, you can't hear, you can't think. What else is it going to be? <laughs> Oh dear. There's a bunch of shock I'm, people in the chat. I, I, I apologize for I'm, the crude I'm, joke. Yeah, that, that's a my bad phone. So. <laughs> it's it's past Key's no, bedtime no, anyway, so what? I can't believe I let you repeat yourself. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh man, but, everyone everyone's aiming for the, the disconnect button. So I'm, we, I'm going to pull when we, a short. When we um, were talking about Lego games and Disney, you know, backing <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Um, giving up on the the games. Yes, um, well, no, they're, they're bringing, they're, but they're bringing out the Lego Ninjago movie game. That's just the solo game. That's going to be awesome. Pumped for that. Yes. Yeah, but I think that the problem with the Lego game format is they change it too frequently, so it's too hard to keep up with. Mm. They had that many figures online and people started following that and then they brought out Dimensions and, and the support for Lego minifigures has dropped off, so they've given up on that and now they're going to go back to that platform yeah. again. What, what do you think, FN? Do you have any thoughts on this? Dimensions? He's Can't hear, Can't hear you, mate. Sorry. Uh, have you got any thoughts on on dimensions and 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 how it's sort of flopped? Well, I guess it's a bit of um, I suppose it, it's kind of I don't know. Um, how should I put this? It's kind of you know it's worn out over time. Like the supply, uh, the demand for it's dropped, and so. Um, uh, in that regard, the you know, the well, it's not just the, hasn't like kept up with, I suppose the like how much it costs uh, to supply it. I suppose yeah. it's not just dimension; it's the whole Toys to Life franchise. Like Skyland is far out. Like they just sit on my shelves at my targets and everything. You know, they used yeah, to be on, to, they used to be on yeah, clearance like two dollars, and yeah. yeah. You know, do, you pose... think, do you think that it's a reflection on the economy and it being pretty depressed at the moment? I think Toys to Life is dying, like, completely. Because no, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for changing things on a portal 20 times yeah. per level. I mean, come I, on. 
I, I think it's also a reflection in the fact that pay to play is starting to die off where it's it's fine to buy a game and pay a monthly subscription, but people don't want to keep paying and paying and paying and paying and paying. No, I don't like it. No. Like you, you spend what is it, one hundred and thirty nine dollars for a portal for dimensions or whatever it is. Oh, now now they're down to thirty nine dollars a big W. <laughs> right, or, or, or whatever, whatever it was when it came out, right? So you spend you spend. They were one hundred sixty when they came out. They're down to thirty nine down now. Oh, jeez. I think like, the other okay. thing that's really contributed to like dimensions like decreasing it has been like the release of Lego Worlds. Mm. I still have yeah, I can't wait to get that. They had, they added the next night level. I've got to get it now. <laughs> but I mean, do you think that like you have to continually buy things to keep playing with it for it to have any sort of form of value? Do you think that's a detraction from? Well, it? I, I I love don't get me wrong. I love dimensions, but it is a pain in the ass when you're forced to pay to finish the game completely. And you're paying, you're not paying small little fees. You're paying big money on like proper Lego sets. So, you know, I don't like, I don't like the whole concept after that point. Once, you know, you get past, I got my favorite characters and you realize, oh, I can't do this. I need to buy this character. And yeah. So you'd probably agree with the statement that pay to play is really starting to annoy people, which is why they keep. Oh, it, it annoyed people years ago, especially on the I like phone games. It pisses me off. Mm. Um, and do you think that, like, the, the gaming, like, when we get back to the, the being in the closet, people don't, like, teenagers don't want to be seen to be buying Lego sets to play games? Ah, I don't, I don't think that's, personally, I, mean, that personally I don't think that's got anything to do with it, but it's... um. Like they don't want to come out and say, "Oh, you want to come out and play a video game with me?" with to their mates, and then all of a sudden they've got a Dimensions portal set up with a massive collection of Lego Dimensions minifigures. Well, they wouldn't have it. They, they, you know, play Call of Duty. Or I don't. I didn't like Call. Of Duty. I don't like war games. I can't. To me, I don't like. Who, who made these? Like, how can you make these when these people actually died in war? Like, come on. Yeah. I don't like them. I don't like war games. I know I'm getting a lot of hate in the chat, but I don't like, I don't like war games. Hmm. Um, Big Sue Bricks has an interesting point. Um, I hate that Lego won't utilise the licences they've gained through Dimensions. Like, a couple of them they have, but most it seems to be, like, one-offs. I think that maybe, is it a contractual thing where they're only allowed to make a certain... certain well, like, well, yeah, well look, that, 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 that could be the thing because licensing is a very... Um, complex thing. They're not allowed to use Disney. They're not allowed to use Disney in Dimensions because Disney's on Infinity. Disney, Disney Infinity, yeah. Mm. So they can't use Star Wars in Dimension. Yeah, which I no, think but, but, is to the detriment of the whole, like, business. Like, if they could have done Star Wars on it, it would be like, bam! Well, I mean, but, yeah, Star Wars got the Force Awakens. They've got every other game. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, but getting getting back to a question, we're sort of we're sort of going a bit off topic. Getting back to a question around IP that they've gained that they don't use. So mm. I'm assuming she'd be talking about um, what do they use? Well, they've done Simpsons. Oh, they've so done, just, they've um, done they should more. utilize Fantastic Beasts. They did twice. Yeah, but outside of dimensions, oh, like actual yes. sets, like they did Harry Potter yeah, sets. No, no, they will. They will next time because when the next movie comes out, I, I guarantee they're going to make sets because... Do you think it's because they thought it was like a bit of a a gamble? Yeah, because uh, yeah I think new, it was. Like, even though it's based in the same world, it's a new franchise. Well, I think they were thinking, oh, we better play it safe because if what if we release heaps of sets? They've done that before. Even though I hate, I hate to say it, I love the Prince of Persia theme. I, I think I, I love Prince of Persia. Prince games. of Persia was cool. I, I have all the Prince of Persia sets. I love them. But the movie flopped and the sets flopped because people were buying them. They've made the mistake before making themes yeah. on a movie that flops. And yeah. they get the wrong impression from the creator. Do you, do you think that Dimensions, like when they look at themes for Dimensions, and I, I suppose I'll throw this out to the chat, that when they when they license themes for Dimensions, it's based on fans, what fans want. Because, I mean, you look at, well, you look at some and, and trying to market it to a new demographic. Like you look at the last wave they did, 
they've got Sonic. Okay, so you're looking at Sonic. They're 80s, late 80s, early 90s people. Mm -hmm. um, you look at the Goonies, again, late 80s, early 90s. Night Rider, mm -hmm. early 80s, late, mm -hmm. late 90s. I mean, I, I think they're trying to bring a new demographic in to try and pick it up. And then the next wave that they've got coming out is all new stuff. Yeah. So they got Powerpuff Girls. We've got another generation. interesting Beetle. comment in the chat. Um, Alison Robert has asked, is Star Wars preventing the return of a space theme? No, they've had space themes since Star Wars. Space Police, 2009, 2010. Galaxy Squad. But like yeah. class, more of a classic sort of a space thing rather than a, yeah. a you know. Oh, they aliens. are. I don't think no. They had Mars Mission, but that was aliens. I loved Mars Mission. Mm. Um, they had. Oh, I, I, I would like to say I don't think so. No, because, I and they've not not had a strong like one big theme, like like castle a, a yeah. space. Well, castle, 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 like they've got some, they've got castle. space within city in creator. But, but castle hasn't had a strong big theme either. Castle's been castle had um, Knights Kingdom, which went mm. first from ninety nine to oh one, then from two thousand three to two thousand five. Then they had castle it fantasy area. It wasn't classic that stuff, man. That was weird. They did trolls and they had these weird big figs in. That wasn't that wasn't classic castle. No, 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 no. That wasn't no castle fantasy era was was trolls. Knights Kingdom was classic, but um. Yeah, Knights Kingdom was more recent, wasn't it? No, no, that was the early two thousands. Was it? Um, yeah, castle, yeah, fantasy, uh, castle fantasy oh, okay. era, two thousand seven to two thousand nine. Yeah, because that stuff was weird. Then they had King. Oh, I, I that was my my brother's favorite theme. Castle Fantasy era. Um, then we had then we had um, Kingdoms, which was 2010, Kingdoms, 2011. Which was back to sort of uh, basic kind of. And stuff. But the, they could, the thing is, they can never go back to classic. So a, a theme like Kingdoms or mm. Castle, the theme they had in 2013, those are the closest you're going to get because they're never going to use the same old bricks they used. They're never going to oh, use the same. Not. They oh, needed no. to have technique. They needed to be decked up. They needed to play features because they set a big standard for themselves. They can't go back to that classic, mm. you know, boring, oh, just bricks and that's it. I know yeah. they can't go back, like, build-wise, but ideas, like rehashing the old ideas, I think will bring a lot of sort of nostalgia back into it and you'll find people that have left Lego coming back to collect sets from their past around the same things they used to build when they grew up with a kid. Like, fair enough, you won't see the, the same crappy, like the same crap plates again. They won't bring them out anymore. But I think if they built sort of nuts and bolts stuff like they used to, mm. you'd find people coming out of the woodworks to buy them. Like Space is a really great example. Like Benny's Spaceship, I knew fellas that were buying those things like five and six deep just for parts so they could go back and try and build like crazy spaceships like they used to when they were kids because they had that crazy trans yellow and that, that classic blue and that, that grey and it was a very familiar theme. Mm. Um, okay, so big super says again, I like that they made one set for dead men telling those hells. Yeah, it was a small it was a big set, but the actual Pirates of the Caribbean theme from twenty eleven was actually pretty popular. Um mm. there were a few sets such as the Mill and London Escape that were on the shelves for a while longer, but the rest were pretty popular. And then Alison Robert says, do you guys and gals think that Monster Fighters could have had a good run if they had continued it? No. No. There no. was a lot sitting on shelves that ended yeah. up in clearance. Yeah. Um, Even the haunted, now with the some people house. who can't get it anymore. Well, the Haunted House went down to 160 it came up. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I, I bought my Haunted House for 100 bucks on clearance. Yeah, it kept going down and down and down, but yeah, in my mouth eyes, I can imagine it stayed a lot longer than, say, Hornsby or Castle Hill in Sydney or something like that. Yeah. The, well, furthest, the furthest it, it came down there was 160. It wasn't a popular uh, set, and the only thing that made it popular, I think, was that sand green. Yeah. Um, back to Pirates of the Caribbean for a second. Um, are you sad that they didn't do the Flying Dutchman? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I wish. Oh, it. for sure. Like, like that, that was an epic ship, and they never did it. Well, I've done what, what? Queen, Queen Anne, the Black, the Black Pearl, and the Uncle Silent Mary. 
Um, mm. that, uh, that, that Corsair ship wasn't that? A, no, that was all of the rings, sorry. No. Yeah, yeah, that was but a pirate ship ambush, ambush. But um, the Flying Dutchman, if it's in the next movie, they'll make it for sure. They'd have to. Is there another movie? Yeah, they they, they hadn't lead up to next to another movie. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. Would they even make another one with the way that based on um? Uh, oh, I would. I would think they have to because they did leave it. Open. They did leave it open at the end. Mm. They always do, though. But Allison's got another question. Was Scooby Doo a flop as a thing? No, not not in Australia at least. Maybe in America it was. No, they they flew off the shelves here. No, it's just hey, we're talking to Americans. It's just like Jurassic World. It stayed on. It's still on shelves. <laughs> Far out. I know. What is wrong with you people? Don't know. Don't know. Scooby Doo. They have gone. all the Lego. Maybe that's their problem. They have all the Lego. Yes. I, I I personally wasn't very impressed by Scooby Doo. It wasn't a really? flop. Though. It, it sold fast. Like I, I picked up the Mystery Machine for uh, the iconic sort of nature of the yeah, fact that it's the Mystery that's, Machine. That's and it looked the ones really that cool. we got. But I mean, everything else I looked at and I thought, well, for the price and what you get, I didn't think it was very, very sort of. I don't think it. I think it missed its market. It was sold out, I believe, on nostalgia because it's like. Yeah. But I don't think, as far as quality of sets go, I don't think it was a very big hit. But do you feel like they rushed it? I think so. I think they could have put a bit more development into it. I mean, it was definitely aimed at a younger demographic, and, and that showed through the way that a lot of the sets were built and how it was marketed. And, I mean, that, that's my take on it. I think if they had have taken the time to develop it a bit more and put a bit more thought into it and built it oh, a bit better, uh- the problem with when you're dealing with the IP is that you're also having to deal with the people that own the IP, and at the end of the day, they have final say on what the final product looks like. Yeah, exactly. So um, if they don't like how something's being put together, they can say, no, I want it like this, 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 this. And it's like somebody um, who hires a graphic designer to design a logo. They say, oh, yeah. I, I think I want something like this, and then they make it exactly like they want, and they're like, no, 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 more like this, and then you end up with the original logo anyway at the end. Yeah, I, I get that, but I just, I, I, I don't think it was as polished as it could have been, and I think if they had of, I think the American market may have picked that up a little bit better than they that was received. Yeah. I mean, I mean at the end of the day, it's, it's a, it's a children's cartoon and it's marketed in that area and maybe Scooby-Doo isn't very big in America. Maybe. Well, maybe that's no, it. No, they just have oh. things sit around on shelves and think it's a bad deal when it's half price. I'm yes. not spewing that I wasn't around when our, uh, Ninja Turtles was big. Mm-hmm. Uh, big Sue Bricks is saying I'm excited for the dinosaurs and the new Jurassic World sets. But, um, I've not seen any um, leaks of any of like no, there's what's not, going there's to come. There's none. It's just it's just that uh, um no rumors. Yeah. I've not heard any rumors yet of what no, dinosaurs are going to include. Will be coming out, but there's been no pictures, obviously. Uh, I'm really hoping out? for a new tri- triceratops would be nice because they didn't have um... Okay, um, I might own a little Lego dinosaurs, but I'm not I'm not overly enthusiastic about <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, I know, but, but really, you would. I, I watched the last one, but I wasn't going to watch the movie. You know when the movie's coming out if you want the set. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yep. usually I just wait for other people to tell me because ev- everyone knows that I'm the one I'll that has all the dinosaurs. Now. But that doesn't I'll tell me anything. Like, they can well, always look talk. it up, Google it. <laughs> 22nd of June, 2018. Okay, so we got oh, to Next year. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't heard Tickety Bill about it, so it's all news to me that they're releasing a new Jurassic World movie. I didn't think the last one was Oh, be. yeah, I'd heard that there was a new movie, and I was assuming that new movie means new dinosaur Lego, because, I mean, they'd be mad not to. You know what I would absolutely love to see, and it would never happen in a million years, them to mm-hmm. do a Disney Castle series. Disney Good Castle time. series? Yep, because every Disney castle and every Disneyland is different. Oh, okay. So the one that they did for the Disney castle that they released, I'm pretty sure it's Cinderella's castle. All of the princesses have a castle. Mm-hmm. 
and and I'm a man, and that's pretty sad that I want Disney castles. But hey, I thought that they were they were an awesome set to build. They're great fun. Mm. I, I just Lego pretty... 101 said something interesting. Would you guys like more Back to the Future sets? Hell yeah. Well, yeah, I would love the the Jules Verne train, but um, Lego won't make it. No, I, I would. Because it's an IP I, that they've already done for an idea set. But unless they make it for themselves, which I doubt it. Well, yeah, with Ghostbusters. I would love yeah, to see. But the... That was like for that, like that was nostalgia and the anniversary and. Back to the Future had an anniversary two years ago. I would love. Yeah. I'd love to see the. Um, yes. I'd love to see. I'd love to see the diner that he sits in and he sees his younger self, or I'd love to see the uh, the old clock tower. Oh, the eighties diner. Yeah, you the eighties diner or the clock tower, right. and you can redo you it like in the density. Redo it in the oh, eighties version. Oh, you can have it in the new version. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Philip, we're talking over the top of you. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. RRB started quoting one of my favourite movies. <laughs> You are my density, my, are my density. destiny. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of um, okay. linking back to the topic about um, is Lego just for kids? Do you think yeah. that's why Lego won't make um, like the like a return of the classic space theme because it might not appeal to the younger generation? Maybe. Mm, that's a maybe, maybe maybe they've done um like testing, you know, how they, they have the lab and they get the kids to play with things. Maybe they've tried it and Well it could be it, yeah, I think going back to Philip's point earlier, um see even though Lego have done space things since Star Wars, they haven't obviously been as successful as Star Wars, which is probably why they've, you know, thought, oh, we're not going to do this now because Star Wars is the main focus for our space kind of thing. They they obviously still do the space things in City, but I think that's all they'll do for a while at least. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how Freemakers does. I, I love the new Tracker 5 or whatever it's called, Tracker something. That's awesome, that new Star that, Wars. That set. Try, try. Yeah, that one. Quite a yeah. Yeah. corner. Yeah. yeah. Because that's based cool. off Star Wars lore, but in their own IP, it's weird. That's cool. I think that'll, I like it. that'll be a test for their expansion into Star Wars like space and see how that goes against sort of some of the more hardcore Star Wars fans. Well, they went for Space Police 3, didn't do as well as they hoped. Hmm. Mars Mission was all right for them. I, I have most of the Mars Mission sets. Um, they had some really unusual parts in that, hey? I, I loved Mars Mission. I loved the, um, the base, which I probably I should rebuild at some point, but um, it had the big, the big like, yeah, push the cool. aliens down the pipe. Yeah. Mm. I love that set. The Eagle Eagle Command Base. That was a sick set. Um, which one? Yeah, they, they've, they've tried. Pardon? Which was the one with like, the red and like mind green aliens? Which one was that? And had like all these crazy... Mars mission. Mars Mars mission. Mars. Here, I'll bring it. I've got they one in some... here. Hang on. I've got all of mine in here, actually, I think. They had some pretty rad, rad sets. Or not. Or the insects stuff. were pretty cool. Made some really awesome molds. Or not in there, okay. Did um, no. that, that new Ninjago, that new Ninjago snake mold that they do with uh, I can't remember, it's like a swamp and it's got like a little egg and the snake's sitting in the egg. That's that's a um, Mars mission mold. Which one? The um, the snakes that come out of the eggs. Uh, I don't even know. That. Hang on, I'll put on me little video. Yeah, I the have ones that you I have them, but I I don't. No, those are brand new. Those are 2017 parts. Um, well, these are in purple, and I don't make them for Ninjago in purple. Oh, okay. You mean... Okay, that was Galaxy Squad. Uh, show us again, Philip. You mean Galaxy So they're like the same as the Ninjago. They're, they're like, they, they make them in the Ninjago mm -hmm. Swamp set, and they hold all the spiders, or the not spider snakes. Well, these uh, are brand new. In this they're a gun, gunmetal gun. grey colour, I think. Yeah, this one. Yeah, those ones, yeah. They make them. Gummy in... or grey, brand new colour. Um, 
that that's my um what do you call it? That's my that's my Warhammer talking, man. Eh? Yeah, Warhammer those right. Warhammer. I was thinking about my the green aliens from Mars mission. No, no, Galaxy Squad. Those that's Galaxy Squad. Yeah, because um they had, like they used for uh, these eye parts. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Those are Galaxy Squad. They they made some pretty cool sets for them. They made those eggs in yellow. There's that egg in yellow. The same as the um one for the new Ninjago sets. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And you could hide like you could fit minifigures in them and they used to you used to stick them in the back of some of the transports and you could hide like the eight people in there and that abduct the people. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Those those were cool sets Galaxy Squad. That was only one. They, were, they had some pretty cool sort of play features. Only two ways. They weren't very easy. That was very popular, though, I didn't think. No. No, it was right before the era of popularity for Lego. Before Lego exploded. Throw it away. Alien Conquest was cool. That was 2011. Yeah, I remember that. Was that with the blue ADF? Or PDF, what they call it? Yeah, Like this crazy, like, dark blue... Yeah. The mother the mother ship had the train tracks going around it. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. that one. I remember my son wanting that one and we couldn't afford it because it was pretty expensive. A hundred? It was a hundred at the time, I think. Oh. Uh, now it's cheaper than that. <laughs> it, it seemed it seemed excessive at the time, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's laughable now. Now it's cheaper than that. Yes. Yeah, and you used to spin the thing around and to make a noise like a woo, 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 woo. Yeah, I remember that one. You used to slam it down on people and you used to pick up minifigures and it was pretty cool as if they'd been abducted. And... <laughs> that she's You're just a big kid, Philip. Sorry? You're just a big kid. Yeah, that, that was some pretty cool. Like they had this one alien ship where it had these four rubber pieces and they made a cross and you pressed a button on the top and then the light shone down and it looked like a cross mark. So you could line the minifigure up and then you'd you put the thing down on top of the minifigure and then you lift it up and the minifigure would be stuck in the rubber section so it like it had been abducted. That was pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm seeing three people on this panel that have yawned. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's everybody's bedtime because I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. My <laughs> FM Productions has been up since early. And, and and I have plans to get up reasonably early in the morning and, and go to, to a Lego show that I'm not actually displaying at Shock Horror. Wow. You're it does, buy does it does happen though? occasionally. You're going to buy a brick for it, though? Am I going to what, what, what? No, buy they don't brick sell for... bricks. Oh, really? No, That's no. They don't, they don't sell bricks for their shows. They, they give br- bricks out to their exhibitors, but I've never exhibited at their shows. Obviously, they're not cool enough. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Uh, uh, out of respect for my friends that do display with those people that shall remain nameless, like that Voldemort guy. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there, no. <laughs> cool. But um, I will. I will be going there to to support some of my friends that are exhibiting. So. That's cool. And usually the shopping's all right there, but um, I've heard that a lot of retailers aren't going to be there this time. So I guess I'll find out when I waste my money getting through the door to see what's in the retail section. Or you can just ask my authority. Hey, is anyone in there for retail-wise? What, what did you see to buy? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll probably be there first thing anyway. So. No, say, say to them that you saw it cheaper somewhere else. <laughs> Now, because that, that goes down really well, no matter where you say that line. That's like yeah, a universal yeah, insult. Yeah, yeah. No where you say it, you could say that in any country. And I'll just laugh at you and go, ha ha ha. Yeah, right. <laughs> is that what you said? Is that what you said? Your girlfriends, RB. My girlfriends? No, one girlfriend. Yeah, is that what you said? Your girlfriends? I could find you cheaper elsewhere. Definitely not. <laughs> No, you're really? full of naughty jokes tonight. Jeez. This is this is a joke because Aussie Breaching had 
that happened to her that one show. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I, now that you say it, yeah, I vaguely remember saying that. Yes. All right, all right. Now we've descended completely into the gutter. I think it's time to say goodnight. <laughs> Thank you, everybody who's joined us in the chat tonight. It's been a really great community uh, conversation tonight. Um, thanks for your input. It's been brilliant. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my uh, panel members, uh, everyone who left earlier. Well, at least he turned up for a little while and showed us his castle. So everyone get on to him on Instagram and make sure that he stays motivated to finish because I want to see him actually display that. I want to say thank you to oh, FM Productions for joining us tonight. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for having me. That's cool. And uh, Philip, who's a very familiar face now. Don't say anything. Yeah, he probably won't be back after tonight's episode. <laughs> mm. Hey, hey, uh, I didn't eject you, so all is well in the world. And, of course, RRB, my uh, right-hand man that I've been missing for weeks now because he's been busy with you. I'm so glad you're back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to <laughs> you know, You know, I've been bringing your little mini-me along because, I, you know, you will miss that much. <laughs> I'm glad you, to be You're going to have to scroll well, back well, through all the old, old live friends. streams to see you. Hey, what yeah. was that, Phil? Be looking at some. Uh, been looking forward to some pretty serious builds coming from the pair of you guys, FN, and um, potentially use uh, you to RB for the uh, yeah. We'll be yes. channel. I heard you so might be collaborating. Yes. Nice, nice. Trying to apply for it when it comes out. That's what yeah. she said. You have to slip one in there at the end. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're gonna end it on that. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Get inspired, guys. Get building. Get creating. And uh, keep on building. <laughs> we'll see you next week. And um, we'll see you tomorrow night with the AP stream on yeah. Saturday.